Welcome to Mediocre Gaming, and today we're playing Deep Rock Galactic. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Zero. Let's get to it. All right, so today we're doing the deep dive codename Everlasting Ditch. But before we get to that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and ring that bell to be notified of all future episodes as soon as they go live. So let's get into it. The Deep Dive is a three-stage raid-like environment uh, where you can play either by yourself or with up to three other players. Now, the first stage of the Deep Dive has a Terra Plague, which means there's going to be more flyers and to repair too many mules and the Drill Dozer. So the Drill Dozer is autonomous. It drills all the way up to the Amaran Heartstone, but at some point you'll have to refuel it so you'll have to get off of the drill dozer and refuel it. Uh, and of course, along the way, you're going to want to get all of the gold and nitra as you're going along. Now, during the deep dive, if you're playing with other players, make sure that you're communicating with them, whether that is via microphone or with your laser pointer, which all of them have, so that you know what your teammates are doing and they know what you are doing. Uh, point out points of interest, what's going on, enemies, etc. Now one of the biggest threats doing the deep dive uh, with the drill dozer are detonators. They will knock out the drill dozer in nothing flat. Now with the first stage, uh, whenever you have a deep dive with a drill dozer you can either do the secondary objective either first or along the way so you can find the mini mules first uh, leave the drill dozer at the beginning without starting it up or you can go start it up as you see them uh, the mini mules along the way then go ahead and take care of them and then, of course, you just have to defend and repair the drill dozer. Make sure, of course, that you're getting those uh, materials, gold and nitra. Nitra will let you call in resupply pods, whereas uh, gold will add to your credit score at the end. So both very important for di very different reasons. Once you have all that done, get both of the mini mules and of course get the Amaran Heartstone strapped to the back of the mule. You can call in the drop pod. More than likely it's going to be in somewhat awkward of a place. Uh, so if you have a engineer or driller or gunner, that'll help you guys out a lot. Uh, get to the drop pod once it pops in. Uh, scouts, of course, have no problem getting to it. Now, if you're not really sure the best way to get it, uh, in most stages, Drill Dozer it is relatively straightforward. You can just follow the mule back to the drop pod and then, of course, get on. Now, in cases like this where you have this big change in verticality, where the drop pod is, where versus where you are normal yet. Of course, it does present somewhat of a problem. So like I said, if you have zip lines that you can put up uh, to get up to it or platforms or what have you, or, you know, just drill a tunnel, depending on what your job class is. If you have one of each job, then it's going to make it a lot easier to get all of the resources and of course get out successfully without any problems and part of that is communicating with your team and saying hey I got this you guys go on or hey guys I need some help can you spot me can can you put up a zip line all right but that's it for stage one on to stage two now stage two has you refining liquid morkite and collecting two alien eggs. You can do the alien eggs at any point during the mission, but you will not be able to start refining the liquid morkite until 
you have both alien eggs dropped in. Now, depending on where they're at, if they're close by to wherever the rig is at, then it will be relatively easy to get to uh, the eggs to the rig to drop them in, or if they're close to uh, one of the pump jacks, then, of course, all you have to do is drop a line to the pump jack, uh, build a pipeline from the, the rig to the pump jack, and then, of course, grind the pipeline back, and then you've got it. It makes it a lot easier, especially on missions that have uh, a lot of drops or uh, that vertical nature of some of these missions. So you have to find the liquid morkite, call in the pump jack, build the pipeline, and then of course build in the pipeline. So extend the pipeline to the pump jack and then build the pipeline in uh, to actually refine the liquid morkite. So once you get all that taken care of, then you're ready to go. So each of these missions, there'll be three uh, liquid morkite sites. Sometimes they're equally spaced throughout a stage sometimes there there's two that are close next to each other and one that's in a different spot you just have to kind of look for it you can hear it uh, you can see the little blue specks on the uh, floor and wall around uh, where the liquid morkite is so you know that you're in a general vicinity of it and then of course if you're in straight line visual sight you'll be able to see the the smoke and the blue blue flames coming out of it. Once you have the pipe, uh, the pump jack called down, then it's no big deal. The pipelines are leaking. Get on it. Get them fixed. Then you can just use your laser pointer and you can instantly see where the pump jacks are at. Now as you're refining more kite, you'll have waves of enemies coming at you. And this stage has regenerative bugs, so if you don't take care of them, the first time around they will heal and then you'll have to spend a lot more ammo to take care of them again. So make sure you take care of them the first time, especially the bigger ones uh, like the Praetorians and the Oppressors. Now while you're finding there will become uh, leaks in the pipe, so that you'll have to uh, go to the leaks and repair them. Uh, but once you have 100%, then send it out to orbit and get that drop pod in. This will help you a great deal uh, getting from one stage to the next, because you will continue to have uh, enemies coming at you after you hit 100%. Now, the drop pod normally comes into a more r remote location, so if you kind of know where one of the r remote locations is, you can try for that. Uh, but once it pops up on the screen, there'll be a green outline uh, if you're within sight line of it. If not, then you just have to go in the general direction until you find it. Then hop on board and get out. You don't have to wait for the mule, since there is no mule on this stage. And that is it for Stage 2. And the more people that get out of uh, the stage, that get onto the drop pod, the better your score will be at the end. So it's best if all four, if you have four people, that they all get on the drop pod before it leaves. Now this is also a good point, uh, time to point out that everything carries over from one stage to the next. So your health, your ammo, everything. Uh, if you have things that you haven't dropped into the mule or the, uh, the rig or the side of the drop pod, that will still be with you. So you can always drop it in the next stage. If things got a little bit too hairy for you as you're trying to get to the drop pod in the previous stage. So the third stage 
has low gravity as a modifier, which uh, helps you not take as much fall damage and, of course, reach higher heights. It is the Drill Dozer and two alien eggs. So this week's deep dive is all about the alien eggs and Drill Dozer, since you see it on two of the three stages. Now, once again, you can grab the alien eggs before you start the mission. You can do it as you come across them. It's up to you and your group, whatever you want to do. Just know that when you're doing alien eggs, uh, more than likely you're going to have at least one swarm that will result from popping one of those eggs out. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check us out on social media and thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you next time. All eggs collected. Objective completed. You're doing well. We gotta fix Starting. Getting more ammo. Getting some more. Red sugar. Hope the bandage stays on. I ordered a resupply. Stand back. Supply pod inbound. If only it would fit in my pocket. Extraction here. commencing. Drill doors are running at full steam. Stay alert, team. The noise and vibrations are attracting the bugs. Supply pod is here. Everybody collect ammunition. We got an incoming swarm. Please remember that the drill dozer is top priority. Contact. Lock and load. I'm with you, you goblin bastard! Resupply ordered! Hang in there. Supplies are on the way. Damage! Here! The resupply is here! Lights up! Dozer's just broken through the crust of the Omeron. Hiding from me, Bug! Green 
Hunter is exposing the core. The Heartstone is almost ours. Lloyd is up! Lloyd is up! Drill zone's up! Contact. Swarm approaching the drill dozer. Hunker down and load up. Grabbing ammo. Swarm! It's a big one, team. I ordered a resupply. Supply plant requisitioned. Launching now. in T minus five minutes. No! Lloyd! Might not look like much, but the drop pod always Lighting. gets us back and forth in one piece. Obey me! Oh. Can't believe how green I was when I started. We are a supply drop Drop pod departing in T minus four minutes. Rock and stone! 